What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, apparently we we completely broke this room. Um, we did not do it the correct way, but it, we made it work, and um, it was pretty interesting to see all of your guys' comments about that. Um, some other things to address. I've only uploaded like a couple videos in the past few weeks. Um, I'm sorry about that. I know that a lot of you guys look forward to these videos, um, and a lot of you guys have been really patient, um, just waiting for these episodes to come out. It's, there's just been a lot going on over the past few weeks. Um, just figuring out my life for the next year is finally coming to a close, but uh, it was taking up quite a bit of my time. I had a huge standardized test that was scheduled for a few weeks from today. Um, unfortunately, that has been canceled now. I'll have to reschedule for five months from now. And I've actually had two family members in the hospital recently, um, one of which passed away and one of which will probably pass away within the next couple days. And um, that's been very, uh, both emotionally um, and time-wise, very, very consuming. So it's been it's been rough uh, recently. It, it has been all bad though. I've taken some more time to play some games on my own time and, and enjoy them as well. Uh, P5R Persona 5 Royal has been wonderful. You know, falling in love with that game again. I've been playing uh, Pokemon Coliseum with my little brother, and. Yeah, I've, there there have been some positives, but one of these things like recording, it always has a little bit of like a activation energy, a little bit of a gateway to get back into because it does require some energy from me and some planning, some scheduling when I'm actually going to be able to record, when I'm going to fit in with my research work and, you know, hanging out with my brothers and all that um, and sleep, uh, which has been difficult recently, but it is something I really do enjoy, so I'm trying to get back into it. Anyways, all of that aside, thank you to those of you patient enough to listen. Apparently, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Apparently, that's what I was actually supposed to do. So, I guess I just broke that room before. Um, and we d were not supposed to, I guess, get rid of the electricity that quickly. Um, so, there's a key here. We're going to need to grab that. Let's see what we can do. It's obviously been a while since I've played the game, um, so I'm hoping that we can, you know, figure something out. I obviously did not do that as intended, but that's okay. So does this give us two? It does, okay. Just wanted to be safe. So I think the idea is, again, I dash, I do that, and then maybe I throw it again and then grab it again to get a little bit more boost. And we didn't quite make it. Now the other question is, Hmm, that still didn't really feel like enough, did it? Do I just really need to, like, jump and, and hope for the best? Nah, there's no way that's enough. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to make it back, too, right? Unless there's something I'm completely missing all the way to the right of the key. Yeah, I have to make my way there and then come back. So I have to do, whoop, don't die. <laughs> so I have to do one of those cool little, like, crouch jumps. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I like, bounce it off of there to get as much height as I can. Even that's not gonna be enough though. Oh, oh, so I didn't even have to make it back. I just had to get the key. That's, um, that's actually pretty nice. So this segment would be significantly more difficult if I didn't have, or if I had the electricity still going on. So I guess that's worth at least noting. Um, in the meantime, I can come over here and use one of these keys. It doesn't really matter which order I unlock them. Um, but yeah, it is, it is kind of funny that Loki broke this part of the level. I guess I, did, I didn't see the hint, but I can see where um, where the game was hinting to it. If you travel to the right a little bit, you could see that like one, I guess, Madeline width or height uh, passage that connects the two sides of that platform. All right, so what do we have going on here? We got to jump over there. We got to grab this jellyfish. There are spikes there. So I'd imagine we have to throw the jellyfish over there and then how do we do anything there. We have to throw it and then dash, regain our two dashes, dash up and then probably upright in order to catch the jellyfish, go all the way to the right and get the key. That's what I'm thinking. So I guess we'll see.
All right, that worked surprisingly well. So we have obtained another key, which means we'll go back here. That'll unlock that one. Now, I'd imagine there, there might be, let me regain my double jump, because I doubt they did that there, or put that there for no reason. Oh, there's not anything up there. Then the question becomes, where is the last one? There are still two keys I need to get. They're probably up this way, if I had to guess. This is where we got that one jellyfish. So we're probably gonna have to make our way up there. I, I don't remember exactly, but I believe we couldn't actually progress through this room because of the electricity before. So, all right. Let's plan here. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do is utilize my dashes in order to gain height with the jellyfish and keep bouncing it back and forth. This is gonna be, this looks like it's gonna be really difficult actually. And I'm eventually gonna need to get that double dash back there again and keep bouncing up. That's uh, yeah, this is gonna be tough guys. All right, so we'll do that. Oh, that didn't even hit. Wait, what? Oh, is there a way to... Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but... I was hoping we'd be able to, um... I guess get it to at least hit like a little bit higher up on there. Yeah, what do I... How do I do this part? Maybe I need to be holding it as I jump into this. But then what? I think I need to let go and then dash back into it and then bounce off it on the right. I think that makes sense. We'll give it a go. Once these things come back, that is. Ah, oh, but even then. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to wait until I'm closer to that floating platform there. And let's give that a try. Maybe I can try to like change directions really quickly to bounce back into the platform as soon as I spring off of it. No, I can't. What if I let go though? You know, what if I bounce off the spring, immediately turn to the right, throw the jellyfish, it bounces off of the spring, comes back up, and then I can dash up and bounce off the left one. I think that's the next thing I'm gonna try. No. I'm not seeing it, guys. I'm not seeing it. I think the first step is right. Um, holding onto the jellyfish, jumping off of this, and then jumping over there. But the question is, what do I do after that? What do I do after that? I don't know. Can I pick this up? Without dying? Darn it. <laughs> no, I could not. Because I can't even... Hmm. Well, that didn't seem to uh, work too well.
Yeah, I am um, having a tough time. Maybe if I like, that's all I was thinking is if I could maybe get more momentum when bouncing off there. You know, something like that. Maybe that's what I want to do. Ah, oh, I missed. Oh, wait, I, <laughs> I missed my jump again. Oh, wait, I don't need to reset like that. Come on. Almost. I'm feeling like that's what I need to do. I feel like we're at least getting closer to the right solution. Do I need to jump over this way? Is there some hidden passage over there? No, there isn't. Hmm. Maybe... No. I at least feel like that's the closest I've gotten. Still not close enough, but it's definitely closer. Um, hmm. Maybe something like that? Because maybe I could, I could let go of the jellyfish and then bounce off the spring and then use that momentum to go to the left and then throw it off of that block and then dash upright to use that momentum. Something like that? Wait, no, that's totally not what I just did. What exactly did I do the last time again? I... I like... What did I do? I think I, I picked it up and I threw it off of... That. No... I, I ran, I picked it up and I ran into the block on the left, and then I threw it at the one on the right, and then dashed into the spring, and then picked up the jellyfish or something like that. <laughs> what did I do? I don't even remember. Hmm. What's interesting though is that what if I did this? <laughs> I feel like that's not the intended solution here, but admittedly, it seems a lot better than everything else I've been doing up until this point, so we're gonna we're gonna work with it for now. Okay, so I need to be a little bit more proactive about that. Question is, what do I do at that point? What do I do at that point? Oh wait, the wait, where'd the jellyfish go? Just out of curiosity, I guess. What? <laughs> it's all the way up there. So, I can theoretically make my way up until this second dash, and I get two dashes. But, after I hit the spring, I may be able to get over to the left and repeat the same sort of shenanigans. I would have to be much faster about it, though. I also acknowledge that this totally does not utilize <laughs> the jellyfish, which I'm fairly confident is the mechanic they want me to utilize here. So, I don't think this is really the right way to do this, but a solution is a solution. Hmm. 
Hmm. What if I did something like this? Just to, like, change the timing of the two? That might actually help. Almost! Almost, actually. I'm gonna... That's promising. In probably the way the developers did not intend. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go, because now I'm just too curious. I feel like if I held out a little bit longer or timed that a bit better, I could have gotten it. Ah, oh, really? Whoa, that was... That was weird timing. Oh, I used... That's right, I only get one dash after... Hmm... I'm really curious to see if this will work. Because I definitely can't fit in that space there. So I have to stick to this right block in the beginning. Now I'm going too fast. Gotta slow down a little bit. Oh no! Alright, well, I mean, as you guys are probably aware, because you guys know a lot more about this game than I do, um, this is probably not the intended way to do this, but I can't really see much more of a way to do it, unfortunately. Um, and I feel like I'm going to run into a roadblock with this second half where I need to transition to the left side of the screen. I don't really see much of a way to do that. Oh, wait, I could have... I feel like I might have been able to do it there if I dashed the left instead of up left. But... But... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see if this is a solution, and, you know, for the time being, this is all I can really think of. I didn't time that very well. I need to get my, uh, what's it called? Um, my, my, like, double dash. As I get sprung up, like, towards the end there, um, because I can't afford to use one of my double dashes dashing back into the spring. And I'm fairly confident I need to wait a little bit longer on that spring so that I, because I have to use my first dash, I'm pretty sure to go straight up so that I can go straight left. And that way I'll have enough. Oh, come on. Straight left, not up left. Darn, I tried to time that differently. Ooh. Almost. Although, again, I'm still not fairly certain that's not the right way. Alright, so let's rethink this. Knowing that now I can dash off of this right one relatively infinitely. Um, what's the plan? What do I do? <laughs> Sorry, this is probably not that entertaining for you guys. Or maybe maybe it is. Maybe it's relaxing. Maybe you guys are tabbed over and listening um, just for that one time I get it right. But but I'm I'm really kinda kinda stumped. So I obviously need to stick to this right one. The question is what do I do with the jellyfish, right? Um, I'm fairly certain I'm also gonna need that second dash. They don't give me that double dash right there just for no reason um, and I'm gonna have to hit the right platform and spring back probably as I do
the impression I get is that I have to continuously keep this jellyfish going straight up. I think that might be the solution. Let me test something. If I let go of the jellyfish when it's going straight up, when I still have that momentum, will it um, continue to go straight up? Or will it count as me like throwing it? Okay, so it, w it will be thrown, but I can choose which direction and then do that. Because I'm thinking I want to try and keep this jellyfish centered, like going down the center of the screen. And basically what I end up doing is dashing, hit off one of the springs, dash up to re-grab the jellyfish, throw it off of one of the things. Do I regain my dash when I do that? No, I don't. Um, that complicates things. Because what I was thinking is, like, I could try to keep this jellyfish centered, right? Because I'm eventually going to have to do that. The last move needs to be me, I'm pretty sure at least, um, going with the jellyfish straight up from the center of the screen to go up. Or, I mean, I guess I could theoretically dash off of this left block or the right block all the way up there and then fall down or whatever. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be tough to say the least i think now that i see it what they want me to do at this segment of the screen of the level um they want me to get my double dash bounce off the spring dash straight up with the jellyfish to go up to about this area let go to in like the left direction fall dash to the left bounce off the left platform with the with the spring and then and then after I bounce back uh, off the spring, I'll be back in that center area and then go back up again with the jellyfish and then like fade to the left, bounce off of that platform um, and then maybe dash back to it or something. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think, I think that's what they want me to do at that segment. So then the question is, how do I get to this segment where I'm kind of holding the, the jellyfish back and forth, right? Because that's one of the things I first tried to do, right? I, I dashed off of the left platform and then the right one, and then I tried to throw the jellyfish off of the left platform and then dash back up, but that took way too long. Maybe I throw it off the right side. Maybe I throw it off the right side. We can try that. This is definitely a puzzle platformer. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Okay, that did not work. Hmm. I mean, I could, like... Try and set it up so that the, the jellyfish is already moving up that way. Something like that? I don't know. I'll, I'll keep messing around with it. We might be getting close to the point, though, where it's like... All right, I uh, will work on this for a bit and let you guys know when I find something because I don't want the entirety of the episode um, to be just this one segment of the, the level. I might be able to let go a little bit earlier than that. So let's see. And that might not be the most enjoyable for you guys. Yeah, I want to see what happens if I let go of this a little bit earlier. I feel like if I let go at the right time, I can dash straight up right after hitting that spring. So let's let's try that. Oh. Hmm. Do you guys see what I mean at least? Something like that. I can't sneak in there to get one last bounce. <laughs> that would be pretty funny.
feel like that's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Is like where I bounce off of the platform on the right, dash to the, or like, I bounce off facing the left, immediately turn to the right, throw it back, and then dash back up and re-grab it, and then bounce off the platform again. I feel like that's what I'm gonna have to do. But that obviously didn't work there for some reason. I guess I didn't get my, my turnaround correct. That time I jumped straight over the platform. Gotta love it. Hmm. So you're noticing it didn't like, it stayed in the center there, right? Which is weird because that time it didn't. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how long I need to be facing a direction for it to move in that direction. Because it seems, I'm sure it is consistent. But it seems inconsistent right now. Like I need to be facing that direction a certain amount of time before it will register as um, as that. And I need to shift back and pick it up again. Within a certain amount of time, I need to be quick about it, but I can't be too quick about it. Because if I do, then it just seems to go to the left. And if I'm not ready for it, then I just end up moving to the left and can't dash back to the right to actually grab it, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to try this for a bit. I think I'm going to mess around with this for a little bit and I'll cut out some of this just so you guys aren't sitting here for forever watching me do this. I know that. You guys are really patient, you've been really good about watching me do a lot of trial and error up until this point with certain levels. Um, but I think this one, this one might take quite a bit of time, so. So, yeah, that might be, that might be what's necessary. I at least feel like I have an idea of what, more so of what the intended route is. I've got to dash straight up and re-grab that, and that'll carry me up to the point that I can bounce off that right one again. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I've done it a couple times, and yeah, it, it seems like it'll be a lot more effective than what I had been trying to do before. But I gotta remember, or just the timing of the, the L2 and the well, L2, like you guys, <laughs> like you guys are playing with the, the PlayStation controller. I basically gotta like rapid fire, like let go and then like tap again. Because for some reason I'm having a really tough time just re-grabbing it. 
Like I end up dashing before, or I end up dashing and I'm trying to hit the grab button before I'm even there. Or after I'm like through the jellyfish, or at least just not fast enough. And for some reason that's proving to be the difficult part of this. Oh, come on. But that's the, that's the gist of it so far. That's what I'll be working on and what my future attempts will be trying. seem to get back to it. That's the tough part right now. It's like I don't, I feel like I need to get enough height off of this initial one to get those, the double dash crystals. Because if I have to go back for them, right, then it doesn't seem to, to work out as well. this room is I guess like part of it is just like I don't know why sometimes it's so much more feasible to re-grab the jellyfish it's like sometimes it just it just doesn't happen um, and I mean I know the game's physics are consistent like it's not like a, like it's got to be something to do with m my timing and my presses but like why is it so inconsistent why why is it so frequent that that ends up happening I feel like I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time, honestly. I know there's one more key to get, so maybe it's more worthwhile to just come back to this later. But it is admittedly pretty frustrating when it's like, oh, I'm trying to come back to Celeste to enjoy that game again because it's overall been a really fun experience after not having recorded for a long time. And I'm spending, you know, forever on this one room doing the same part over and over again. And um, it's just not fun, <laughs> if, if I'm being honest. Interestingly enough, well, I just had an idea. It's probably far from intended. Um, but what if I were to go on up, get the the double dash crystal, and then come back down and utilize them as if I had had them from the start? You know. That would be an interesting concept.
quite. But I feel like being able to develop the skill of bouncing off one of these while holding it and then re-grabbing it is really important. I feel like that might be the, the secret to this. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of defaulted. But oh, I was so close there! I was so close. But what was that momentum? Times like that, it works, but sometimes it just doesn't. Like, I'm holding it there. I am. <sighs> I'm holding the grab button. Is there some weird, like, cooldown on grabbing things? Because that's the impression I'm getting now, <laughs> is that there's some weird cooldown. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to do because I don't want my entire Celeste session to be all of like an hour of just doing that same frustrating room over and over again. So, so we're gonna take a look at this real quick. So there's a key obviously over there. Um, we're gonna need to throw the jellyfish at that in order to open up that. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to do is throw the jellyfish. It'll bounce off of there. We're gonna have to dash up Hmm. Or maybe come back and then throw it over or something? Am I going to be able to glide over there? Probably not, but maybe if I throw it off there and then from underneath it dash up, I could get over there, regain my dash, throw it at that. And then dash up again and over? I think that's what I need to do. Let me see how far I even get. Okay, so I think that is the general idea. It's just that it's going to be tough to do it with enough momentum. There we go. I just need to get close enough. Okay, so there's the third key. It's just this last key that's going to... Give me an absolute heck of a time. So back at it, I guess. Why is this one so disproportionately difficult? Like, I feel like I've got to be doing something wrong if it's this difficult. Like, all three of those other ones were so easy. What am I doing wrong? What am I not seeing? Right? I feel like the, the fact that those two things are there means I'm going to need to dash there or throw the jellyfish there, but... I don't know. I'm not even getting there. <laughs> I'm not even making it there. So, I don't know. finally had the second one. I finally got the double dash, but I had no idea what to do. 
I think after I get it, I just need to bounce off the walls on the left and dash up like I did for that last key. That's all I can think of, honestly. Okay, potential new strategy. Potential new strategy here. Let's let's try this. That's totally what I need to do. That's absolutely what I need to do. Oh, I missed though. Okay. Now I at least feel like I know what I need to do. I guess the, uh, the gameplay cue that would have told me that that's what I need to do would have been the previous key teaching me that specific mechanic and then expecting me to know to integrate it into this particular level as well. Knowing that, this becomes significantly more manageable. Because then I just need to bounce left and right and I'm, I'm good. Okay. In literally seconds, we just came like 500 times closer to actually doing this. Ah, uh, almost. Okay, it's just that second dash that's proving to be a little bit difficult now. Okay. Left, right. Oh no! <laughs> I like went over it. Oh man, okay, but at least I feel like I can actually get it now. It was more so about planning out the movements than actually executing them that's proving to be difficult and was so frustrating. It was that like, what I was trying to do, I didn't even have the certainty that like, oh, this is what I need to do and I just need to get good at it. It's also, is what I'm even doing going to get me there in the first place? There's no way to check without properly trying and I can't properly try without good execution. And that was what was so frustrating. But now I feel like I know what I'm supposed to do. And so I know that what I'm trying to get good at executing is going to eventually get me to my goal. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a parallel for a lot of the uncertainty in my life right now. But um, okay, now I feel a lot better. <laughs> so let's try and do this. Too much. <laughs> too much. I got too much height there. Okay. So maybe, maybe actually me doing the first room incorrectly hurt me in that I didn't actually do that previous key first. So I didn't have the opportunity to say, oh, this is a mechanic they tried to teach me or a skill they tried to teach me before getting to this level. You know what I mean? Nice. Okay, we have obtained the key. Finally, after who knows how long. That was that was a really long time, I think. <laughs> that was a really long time, I think. Now, wait, what? There's still another key? There's still another key I haven't gotten? Where? Huh? Where is there another key to get? Up here? What is over this way? So I need to dash up, grab that. Okay, we're, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this key. <laughs> we are gonna get this key. Um, we're gonna dash up right. Jellyfish over there. Hmm. How do I wanna do this? I think I dash up and then I fall to the left. 
until I get my double dash. Then I throw the jellyfish off the wall on the left, dash straight up, go to this floating block here, throw it to the right against that, dash straight up, get that key on top, and then glide over to the right maybe. See if I can get that. If not, come back to this dash, the double dash crystal, throw it off to the left, um, throw it to the left up against the block, dash up, re-get the key again, can probably get my double dash back again. Fade down. And then how do I get that one? That's going to be a tough one. Um, because after I throw it, I'm really low. I could throw it to the right and then try to just double dash upright. Because I'll have two dashes at that point. Um, and we'll be able to cover some distance. I think that's what I'm going to try. Okay, I waited a little bit too long there. And again. Oh, I got a lot of distance there. Got a lot of distance there. I might not even need to um, do the second throw there. Oh, I still do. But wow, went really high up there. Oh wait, what that? That crystal's a one-time use? Okay, that's good to know. Then I probably should make sure I utilize this a little bit more carefully. <laughs> um, so they don't come back like the other ones did. It's good to know. So I can't just all willy-nilly <laughs> do that. <laughs> Oh no, seriously, I missed the key. So I had to go back for it and then I was too low. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I've got at least the, the puzzle aspect of this room solved, which goes a long way to get that and then that. Okay. So we've obtained that last key. I said it guys, we were, we were gonna get these keys. There was no way I was gonna just let this end without having <laughs> completed that. We can finally go up here. Finally. Oh my goodness, what is that? This is so beautiful. Falling in love with the game again after a brief love-hate relationship. This music, these visuals, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But anyways, I've been playing for way longer than I had planned and at the very least, hopefully this is this is the step back into the, the recording world that I needed. Um, I'm glad it, this episode ended on a positive note and not with frustration trying to get that one key. And I hope you guys aren't as frustrated as I was. Um, and thank you again for your patience. And thanks for your understanding with everything going on recently. But um, hopefully there will be another episode in two days. So you guys can look forward to that. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero and this mission is complete.